Hello and welcome to this latest instalment of Metpro Insights. Today we're going to be talking exclusively about UK CA marking and to help me go through this I'm once again joined by our Product and Vendor Development Manager Mike Holmes. How are you doing Mike? Hi. Mike, what we're going to be doing is giving a bit of history around UK CA marking, what exactly is it, um, and then also talking about the impact to the industry or the likely impact to the industry um, and what contractors and also wholesalers should be looking out for moving forwards. So let's get into it. The, the best place to start really is what is it? What is UK CA marking? Well, UK CA marking stands for UK Conformity Assessment Accreditation which is a long phrase to use, so hence we've abbreviated. But, but I think really to understand it properly, you need to understand what CE marking is in the first place. Okay. Um, basically, CE marking is a visible accreditation that could be marked, stamped, put onto a product or its packaging. And what that does is it, that, it, it denotes that, that product meets the accreditation. Um, and a CE marking relates to the European market, so therefore it needs to meet the EU regulations right. or directives, should I say, EU directives. Okay. Um, now, in regards to um, the UK CA, the reason why that became uh, apparent was because it all comes down to Brexit, as, as a lot of things are these days. Right. Um, and European standards, which we all abided by up until uh, Brexit, was the, the common denominator, and that's why CE marking um, was allowable right across Europe and the UK. Um, with Brexit, we split away from um, the EU standards and the UK, uh, Britain came up with the, their own British standards. Mm -hmm. Now, in many cases, they mirrored each other with the European standards, um, but over time, uh, each side could possibly um, add bits themselves and they will start to gradually morph into their own standard themselves. So um, we really needed something to show an accreditation for a product that met British standard and hence the UK CA mark was applied. And what that basically means then is when that's put onto a product, mm -hmm. it meets the uh, UK regulations. Right. So does this, because it's not in force at the moment, is it? We'll get into this a bit later on, but um, just while we're touching on it, this was meant to um, kick in from the 1st of January 2022. Yes. Um, and that got a 12 month delay um, to allow the industry to catch up. Um, but when this does come into force, will it supersede CE marking or is it going to be used in tandem? Okay. Uh, in essence, the UK CA could be started to be used uh, from the 1st of January 2021. It was, right. it was allowable from that time. Um, it was um, originally set that it would have to be in place by um, January 2022, but for various different reasons, and we'll talk about them in a minute, um, that has actually now been postponed to January 2023 for it to be final and done and finished. Um, uh, the reality is that in Europe, they recognise the CE marking because it, it, it means that the products meet um, EU um, directives. Okay. In the, uh, the, uh, in the UK, uh, we will recognise the UK CA marking mm -hmm. because it meets the UK standards. Currently, CE marking is still valid in the UK uh, um, and it will only change come January 2023. At the moment? At the moment. Okay. So in terms of the products then, um, as this is, I mean, without sounding um, blasé, in its simplest form really, this is the, the, Brit, the UK's version of CE marking. Very much so, yes. So yeah. really, it's only, it's only the currently CE marked products that are impacted by this, or is, it, or is this wrapping in, wrapping in a few other products as well? Well, anything that was marked CE previously, um, can be um, marked UKCA as long as it meets the British um, standards. Right. Uh, and so, uh, so yeah, but I think also you need to, to recognise uh, what a CE marking can be for, because there are two different categories. There are mandatory CE marking, where a product um, must have um, accreditation mm -hmm. to be allowed to be sold on the market. Um, and in those instances, they need to be um, uh, certified by um, a, a recognised test house. Um, and on the other range of products is the non-mandatory ones, which are pretty much MetPro products. Right. Um, and those are, as long as um, the product meets the recognised standard, then um, MetPro can self-certify the, the product. It meets the UKCA marking. Okay. 
So what then does this mean for wholesalers and probably more importantly contractors because they're really the, you know they're people installing it they're good it's more pertinent to them so what should they be looking for well i think as i said ce marking is still valid and will be certainly for the rest of 2022 um, uh, but then they should start seeing products coming through now which have uk ca marking on them as well if they sell into europe um, then they will need CE marking on it. Uh, and obviously, if they're only selling into the UK, then UK CA mark will be okay. Product can carry both, and right. you can sell into both markets. Okay, so let's move now into the timelines, because we, we've already touched on it briefly, I know. This was announced December 2020, and you could have UK CA markings from the 1st of January 2021, not yes. 2022. Um, and I think the initial plan was throughout 2021, any products that were CE marked, that could that was still valid um, in the UK, but you could also have your relevant products, UK CA marked, both would be recognised for 12 months. Then from the 1st of Jan 2022, it would be exclusively in the UK, UK CA markings. This has now been pushed back to the 1st of January 2023, effectively giving um, manufacturers an extra 12 months to get all the tests they need to get done um, in readiness, to, in readiness to comply. But that hasn't, this might not happen. Well, at the moment, um, January 2023 is the set date. Um, there is pressure on that date. Um, the two main things that have to happen is, um, one is it's a, one's about stock um, cleansing. Uh, and obviously, um, any product after January 2023 without the UK CA mark, um, it can't be sold in the UK or be recognised in the UK. Mm -hmm. So um, product needs to have its marking by then. Yep. Um, but also um, on mandatory products, um, it means that they have to be tested to the UK CA mark. Now, um, under the rules, that means that they have to be tested in a UK test house. They ca it can't be a European one. Right. Um, and so there's an awful lot of pressure at the moment on products through those test houses, um, the, obviously you can understand there's, there's, mm. a, there's a lot um, and there's some question as to whether the test houses are going to be able to achieve um, that in, in, a, in time for January 2023. Uh, so let's watch this space. Well, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just um, quote a few little bits now from a letter that was sent by, sent from, sorry, the, the Construction Leadership Council to, um, to both Michael Gove and uh, Kwasi Kwarteng. Um, this was towards the towards the end of last year, middle of November, um, and it, I, I mean, there's a couple of things I'll I'll pull out which really sum up um, their concerns with, you know, with the first of January 2023 date. So, um, the first quote here is uh, so this is from the letter. Our main our main cause of concern is that for a significant range of construction products, there is limited or no capacity for these tests to be carried out in line with the UK construction product regulations. There must be a significant expansion of facilities with the incumbent recruiting and training of staff who must all then receive authorization by UCAS before more products can be put through the new process. Unfortunately, this expansion of capacity is not happening quickly enough. And then Andy Mitchell, who's the co-chair of the Construction Leadership Council, goes on to um, outline the contributing factors to this, and I quote, um, includes the relatively small scale of the UK construction products testing market, disruption to the UK construction products sector following COVID-19, and a very short transition period that does not permit time for investment in new facilities ahead of the end of the transition, end quote. So, I mean, the, the big things that they're worried about really with this aren't actually, as far as I can tell, to do with Metro products. Um, no. I mean, the, the, there's a couple here that they've cited in this letter, uh, radiators, glass, passive fire protection, glues and sealants. They're the big ones that they see being affected mm. to the point where, um, and a, a final quote here, um, is talking around the construction of um, new homes in line with the, you know, the, the, the carbon reduction plans for the UK. So um, to quote it, it says, the inability to certify radiators in the UK, for instance, could delay the construction of over 150,000 homes in a single year and will also delay the switch to low carbon heating, end quote. So it's quite a, it's quite a big thing, really. Um, and if 
I mean, I know that there's a, there's quite a number of um, large national contractors who are who are also pushing for this to be delayed because if the products don't comply, then they can't install them, they can't build the houses. <laughs> well, well, that's that's exactly true. As that letter um, explains, the pressure is all around test houses. The rules are they've got to be test houses within the UK, so that limits the amount of places that um, product can be tested. Um, and I think the other cons the other question really is is around the standards themselves. As I said before, um, we split away from the European standards um, to, to British standards only. Mm. Um, many of those documents still remain mirrored, and so in in many respects, um, the standards are the same. And so um, until they really start to change radically or um, one side puts in more information and starts to move away in, in a different direction, the, the product still remains uh, qualified to, to what, it, what it was. Yeah. And so uh, that, that's another reason why a lot of people are saying, look, you know, is this too soon? Um, uh, given all the pressures and everything else and the, and the ramifications on construction, mm -hmm. is this too soon? So, again, we've got to watch this space. I, I, I personally think they're going to need possibly another six months and maybe push it back another year. Um, but we, you know, yeah. time will tell. You're right, time will tell indeed. I mean, you, you look through this and there's some manufacturers who cite products that take up to even a year to, to get tested. So. Um, yeah, as you say, Mick, it's a case of, um, of seeing what happens. You know, it's been reported um, even within the last couple of weeks um, at, the time of, at the time that we're recording this that the, following this letter, the, the, the Construction Leadership Council are actually expecting um, a meeting with the Construction Minister, Lee Rowley, um, within a matter of weeks to, um, to discuss a variety of solutions. So hopefully... Within the next few weeks, um, or hopefully not too many months, we'll know exactly what's going on, and mm. maybe we'll see these pressures ease. But um, yeah, you know, yeah. That, that's where we stand. But but in relation to Metpro, um, as I said earlier on, um, uh, our products are all non-mandatory CE marking. So um, we started way back um, at the start of 2021 looking at this, talking with um, the uh, suppliers of our products um, and so we, we're already seeing product now on our shelves that already has UK CEA marking um, and we're fully confident that by the time we get to January 2023, whether it is uh, at that time the official date or not, we will have all product marked with both the, the stamps UK CEA and CE marking. Excellent. So to, to just to um, remind anyone listening where we stand, the current deadline to comply with UKCA marking for relevant products is the 1st of January 2023. That is when UKCA marking will currently be in force. Whether it get, gets pushed back or not, we don't quite know. My personal feeling is that it probably will, due to the potential delays that this could cause, but um, we just don't know at this point. So. Um, what I would say is if anybody listening would like more information on UKCA marking or would like to understand what Metpro products um, specifically that are impacted, then uh, please get in touch. You know, our team are available to, um, to talk you through that um, at any time. And uh, we, we hope this has been valuable. Um, and we'll see you in the next episode.